Hey, it's Cooley from Flatiron Tuning. So today we're going to talk about six-speed swaps into the GD WRX, so the 2002 to 2007 WRX. This is our 2004 WRX rally car that we can, we've competed with this car in Rally America from the 2007 season through 2009 and some other events here and there. And um, one of the things that spawned uh, are interested in doing six-speed swaps and putting together kits is because they came out with the super production class for uh, rally cars where you can actually put the six-speed in, uh, get the reliability of a six-speed um, for you know people that are having reliability issues with the five-speeds. So we did that to this car. So this is this has had a six-speed swap in it for a few years now. Um, it's a lot easier to do the six-speed swap into the GD compared to the GR unless you have 2006 or 2007. So, for the 2006 and 2007 WRX, I'd refer you to our other video about swapping a six-speed into the newer GR chassis, the 2008 to 2014, because the 2006 and 2007 WRXs only have a unique final drive of 3.7, which means that there's no six-speed that will ma match up to the R160 rear diff in those cars. So, you have to address that, but as far as the axles and everything that I'm going to go over, that all applies. The other issue with the 0607 compared to the 02 to 05 is that they have a different style clutch. So the STI style clutches are all pull style. Um, the newer WRX is basically starting in 06, it's always a push style clutch and so you have to switch out the clutch as well. In 2002 to 2005, if you have a, a late 06 up STI transmission, the final drive matches with the rear diff so you can keep, keep your R160 rear diff. Um, and the clutch is actually also a pull style, so if you wanted to, you can actually even keep the five-speed clutch in the flywheel. Um, there's some advantages and disadvantages to that, but it can be done. So this, the, the 0205 WRX is actually the easiest one to do the six-speed swap into. And uh, so now we're going to go into more detail as far as what you need to swap out to get it all to work. All right, so for the GD, same as the other one, we're going to start at the bell housing of the transmission. The bell housing of the transmission determines what kind of clutch you need to use. So in the case of an STI, it's a pull-style clutch. As I said, the 2002 to 2005 WRX also uses a pull-style clutch. So if you keep the clutch and flywheel as an assembly, you can keep your five-speed clutch. Um, there's a lot of advantages in going up to a six-speed clutch and flywheel. The main thing is you can get a much higher capacity even with an equivalent clutch just because the STI, STI clutch disc itself is physically larger. But the starter will bolt right up to um, either flywheel. So um, the best answer there would be you know an STI clutch and flywheel and you do have to change them in kind. Uh, because the STI clutch pressure plate and disc is physically larger, the bolts on the flywheel are also totally different. And so you've got to change those two as a pair. Um, again, the, the transmission itself will bolt up to pretty much any EJ series engine, so it'll, it'll bolt right up to the, to the engine block, no problem. So now axles. Front axles, uh, in the 0203, it was a female male axle, so that the five speeds had actual stub axles. You can get stubs that will snap into the six speed, and that's one of the things that comes in our kit so you can even still retain the WRX front axles. Um, if you have the 0405 uh, WRX with the, the male male axles, those will snap right into the six speed. Um, and then, well let's see, we can, we can talk, we'll talk about STI options later. Um, but for basically, the, the, the short answer is you can keep your WRX front axles whether you have an early or a late uh, two liter WRX. So for the drive shaft, it's the same as before, so you need either an SCI drive shaft or an automatic Impreza drive shaft from pretty much 98 to 2007. The automatics are the same length. If you're keeping your R160, and again, this is one of the biggest advantages of the 2 liter WRXs and the later versions of the 6 speeds, you can keep your R160. So you get an automatic Impreza drive shaft, everything bolts right up, and you're done. Um, and then in the back, for the drive shaft or for the for the axles, if you're not changing the diff, everything stays the same. So there's a lot of advantages in just sticking with everything. So realistically, if you're going to keep all your WRX axles and hubs in place, then all you need is the transmission, an STI clutch and flywheel, and a drive shaft, and that's it. That's all that it takes to swap it in. 
to a GD. You know, there's there's a lot of people that say you need to do a lot more swap, uh, swap out a lot more parts, but that's really all that it takes. Oh, and, and shift linkage. You need the six-speed shift linkage, of course. Um, I didn't address this in the other video, but I'll mention it now. So what if you want to go for, for the whole enchilada, everything, doing all the all STI components? Well, so there's some advantages in doing that, and which are basically um, the, the axles are stronger, though those don't typically tend to be the weak spot until you get up to, you know, pretty decent power level, call it, say, 400 to 450 horsepower. Um, R180 rear diff is definitely a lot more durable. There's a lot more motorsports grade options for the STI transmission and the R180 rear diff compared to the WRX, uh, but there are still some options out there. Um, and swapping out to the STI hubs, the advantage there is you get a, a bigger, more durable bearing, but there's, there's some trade-offs too, some, some extra complexity that is worth mentioning. In the front of the GDs, you can swap out to an 04 STI front knuckle and that will bolt right up to your suspension and then you can put in an STI front axle, uh, an 04 STI front axle. Um, so that would be a little bit of an upgrade there and it's a little bit more durable bearing and hub. If you go with a newer STI hub than that, in 2005 they completely changed the knuckle and the bearing design. They also changed the bolt spacing going into the struts. So basically if you try and do an 05 and up swap, you're going to also need suspension. So you need not only STI axles, STI hubs, but also STI suspension. So that's where the complexity and the cost really goes up. Um, kind of like with the bell housing and the clutch, when you're talking about axles, that determines the hub. If you're running a WRX axle, you can run a WRX hub. If you're running an STI axle, you have to run an STI hub to accommodate the bearing. Um, and then the other thing, too, is the bolt pattern. So like after 2004, starting 2005, all the STIs are 5 by 114.3. So you have to run an STI hub to run an STI axle, which means you, uh, or the bigger axle, which means you have to run then an STI wheel in addition to the suspension. Same problem in the back that we discussed previously, where if you're running an R180 um, in the GDs, you can actually make a hybrid axle. Um, Drive Shaft Shop makes one, so you can run an R180 rear diff and keep the R160 uh, hubs. So actually, we'll, we'll move back there and take a look at that, and we'll go into the rear options in more detail. So this is an R160. This is just the stock rear diff from uh, the 04 WRX we've been running. If you want to swap to an R180 for the rear diff, um, you can make, like I said, a hybrid axle. Drive Shop Shop makes them, so you can bolt into an R180 and still use your WRX hub so that way you don't have to change out the wheels and so forth. If you want to run an R180 and STI axles in the back, that's where it gets pretty complicated. So basically what you run into is you have to run the STI axles, the STI hubs. Running the STI hubs, the way that the brake calipers bolt to the hub is vastly different than the WRX. So you're then required to run either a two-pot or a Brembo caliper. You cannot bolt your WRX caliper up to that STI knuckle. In addition to that, um, so the, the suspension will bolt up in the back. The difference in the suspension bolts is actually only up front, not in the rear. But the other complexity is the parking brake. The size of the parking brake, the physical size of it, is different between the R160 and the R180. So if you're running the STI axles and the STI hubs, you have to run STI brakes or two pot brakes. We've got the two pot brakes here. But you also have to run the R180 parking brake assembly. Um, and so that's where basically the only time, in my opinion, that, that would be viable is if, you're, if you've got a complete donor car or complete donor swap out, you have the complete axle parking brake assembly all the way out to the hub, and then again, you've got to make sure that the bolt panner on the wheels match. So it's, it's a heck of a lot more complexity. Um, you, you do have some more better diff options. There's a little bit increase in strength in the axles over the WX axles, but again, Drive Shaft Shop does make those hybrid axles that are also pretty darn strong. So the rear is really the biggest advantage in staying with the R160. And again, because the o o late 06 and up STI transmissions made, made up with the uh, final drive, the 3.545 of the WRX, it's a super simple swap and it's just so much easier to just keep the R160 so you don't have to touch any of this assembly in the back. Um, but again, it can be done. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, thanks very much for watching, and um, we'll talk more about the DCCD controller um, 
uh, in a specific video. But that's something else um, that I'll just quickly mention is you don't have to run a DCCD controller, but we do recommend it. If you don't run it, um, basically the, the, whatever transmission you're using, um, it would be full rear bias. Um, and I've mentioned the, 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 the late 06 and up STI transmissions. They have a 1.1 to 1 transfer gear, so the rear ring and pinion ratio of all those cars is 3.545. Um, if you get the 04, 05, and early 06 STI transmissions, they have a 1 to 1 transfer ratio, and so they would have a final drive in the back of 3.9 to 1, just like the front. And so that will not be a direct bolt-in, and at that point you have to then either swap out the ring and pinion gear to a 3.9 in the rear diff, or you would have to source uh, you know, a complete rear diff or R180 that has a 3.9. Uh, ratio. You, so you've got to make sure that your rear diff ratio matches the STI transmission. And again, that's why we like the 07 transmission because it bolts up to the GD so simply because it just bolts right up with the rear diff. So that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching and uh, check back with us and we'll, we'll try and get some more videos going here soon.